Kathy Ann Lewis, and it's time for your faith lift. And it's a wonderful Wednesday to have a faith lift, don't you think? And today I want to expand upon an idea that I talked about on Sunday, because sometimes ideas are so important they need to be expanded upon, or at least heard twice. And one of the things I said is that our thoughts are planted into the field of possibility. I love that, the field of all possibility. Through desiring something and keeping our focus on it through our intentions. However, that seed thought is planted more deeply into the field of all possibility. If we actually do some action to, to put the seed in a deeper place where the roots can be formed or yeah, formed and support what's going to be coming up out of the ground and that we cover that seed. So it's not eaten by birds or other things that, you know, think it looks like a good, good snack. <laughs> so that calls for actions. See, our actions are also seeds in the field of possibility and our actions need to support those things that we're holding as a possibility, those, those seed thoughts, those, those ideas of what could be. And if they don't support those ideas, it's going to be harder for them to come up. Now, yeah, a miracle could happen, but they're going to happen faster <laughs> if some action is created to support the intention that you desire. For instance, Ask yourself, what is my intention for the year? What would I like to plant in my experience of life? And what can I do to make it welcome? Not make it happen, make it welcome. I'll give you an example from what I just experienced here at the Center for Spiritual Living. I'm taking another group, and I, you know, I hate to say it because I've said it so many times, but I really think I'm taking my last group <laughs> to, to Egypt in November. And because of a lot of circumstances, three people had to cancel. So I had three openings. And so I just said, okay, God, the perfect people are going to sign up. The perfect people will be on this trip. And I did some action. I put it on my Facebook page. I said, I'm going in November, who would like to go with me? And a lot of people responded and a lot of people I got back to, or Heidi got back to, we did our due diligence. And yeah, what was so interesting is that yes, we've gotten three people, but they weren't the ones that I had responded to. They weren't the ones that inquired. They just sort of showed up and signed up. <laughs> and what it said to me is, at least the takeaway for me, is if I hold something in mind and I do something, I'm telling myself and the universe I'm serious. It's not just a wish and a hope and it's and and, and I won't do anything to help help make it welcome. I do some things, but I'm not counting on those people that I contacted to fill the trip. I just they asked, I provided information, but they're not the ones that called out of nowhere signed up. This happens all the time in my life. It happens in the life of this Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. We have an idea, we do what we can, but God always, or the universe, or whatever I want to call it, always comes in in the most miraculous kind of side door and fulfills the prayer request the seed that was planted in divine mind in the field of all possibilities. So possibility becomes a probability when action is taken to support the thought. Now think on that, my friends, because we all have thoughts. We all have things that we would like to have in our life. We, I mean, can you have more health? Really? Of course you can. Can you have more love? 
Really? Of course you can. Can you have more friends? Yeah, you can. Can you have more adventures? Yes. Can you have more creativity? Yes, 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 yes. So all of us want more in our garden of life in some way, shape, or form. Because you can't have too much love, too much health, too much creativity, too many opportunities. <laughs> but whatever those things are, no matter what you are planting for your future, ask yourself, what action can I take to make it welcome? And then do that action. And then watch God do the rest. Bye for now. No more aggravating. No more contemplating. No more procrastinating. I'm going to claim my good today. Uh, no more limitating. No more crying and waiting. No more switching baiting. I'm going to claim my good today. I don't have to wait till I get better. Don't want to wait anyhow. Don't have to be a little more clever. I'm smart enough to see my blessings now. No more imitating. that Emma Curtis Thompson Hopkins, excuse me, Hopkins, like does this denial stuff, like does this no more stuff. I was like, <gasps> cool. So, a no more. Like this always. No 